नमस्कार मैम आवाज आ रही है मैम मेरी
वॉइस वगैरह चेक कर ली मैम यूट्यूब पे
ग्लास ले जाए अभी तो सभी अपने कॉलेज के हैं कुछ प्रॉब्लम है आप देखिएगा सर काफी इको थी राजकुमार सर का माइक ऑन था मैम और साथ में एक और सतीश सर भी प्रिंसिपल सर भी साथ में ही हैं तो उसकी वजह से मैम दो दो स्पीकर में आवाज जा रही है साथ में राजकुमार सर ये लिंक शेयर नहीं हुआ है या सर किसी ने ज्वाइन ही नहीं किया है मे बी मैम लिंक शेयर नहीं हुआ मैम अभी तक ग्रुप्स में ओके okay, ओके okay. हेलो नरेश हेलो हां जी नमस्कार सर हां नमस्कार मैम जी नरेश जी से रिक्वेस्ट है कि है लिंक को थोड़ा जल्दी शेयर कर दें क्योंकि लोगों के फोन आने शुरू हो गए हैं सर सुमित सर को भेज दिया सर मैंने मेरे पास व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप नहीं है सर सारे सुमित सर को मैंने भेज दिया मैं बात करता हूं सर उनसे भी हां थोड़ा जल्दी से करने की कोशिश करिए सर थैंक यू सो मच सर नरेश जी सुमित सर आर यू ऑनलाइन सुमित गोयल सर आर यू प्रोफेसर दीपा दीपा जी सर एम वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग मैम आई एम इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद आवर टूडे चीफ स्पीकर विद फ्रेंक एजम्स फ्रॉम लंदन Uh, he is trying his best best to connect with us please wait for quite some time 
Well, good morning, everyone. I welcome all the participants in this fourth day of this workshop, five-day workshop, Zero to Infinity. As you all know, we are connected through this platform, Google Meet for this five-day international workshop, Zero to Infinity, that is being organized by the Placement Cell and Department of Mathematics of our college, Shaheed Udham Singh, Government College, Matak Majri, under the ages of Department of Higher Education, Government of Haryana. Uh, I hope the sessions uh, you must have found useful and they must have added to your knowledge pool. Uh, the day, fourth day it is, and it has been a privilege to have you all on this platform with us. And uh, in this uh, era of pandemic, it's uh, really a good tool to stay connected. We are uh, really uh, lucky enough to have such tools with us. And in fact, mankind is lucky enough to be capable of inventing new ways as per the circumstances. So as it's the fourth day, Without uh, running too late, without getting too late with the session, I can see we have uh, 26 participants with us. As I have been uh, informed by the convener uh, that the speaker for the day uh, right now has not yet uh, been connected to us. So uh, we'll wait for some time. Let's wait for five minutes or so, and then we'll start the session. Meanwhile, from the participants, if anyone wants to share uh, their experience with us, you're most welcome. What, you're, what uh, your experience have been with the workshop or in general. Your feedback is welcome. I can see two raised hands, uh, Mr. Vishal Thakre and Mr. Vijay Singh. Would you like to share something with us? Good morning, all of you. Uh, myself, Dr. Baljinder Sani from Government College, Matak Majri Indri. Um, 
नहीं यू आर ऑडिबल मैम प्रोफेसर दीपा आर स्पीकर फ्रेंक एजम्स फ्रॉम लंदन है ज्वाइंट हेलो फ्रेंक एजम्स हेलो फ्रेंक एजम्स एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो फ्रेंक एजम मिस्टर फ्रेंक एजम आर यू विद अस ऑनलाइन मिस्टर फ्रेंक एजम प्लीज एन म्यूट योर माइक सुमित सर लेट्स स्टार्ट विद वेलकम एड्रेस फर्स्ट तब तक वो मैनेज कर लेंगे आप फोन पर उनसे कनेक्टेड रहिएगा प्लीज ना actually ma'am he is not able to join through their laptop they are they are doing the same job from their phone uh, so i cannot connect with them with him uh, on phone uh, i will ta- i i can talk i can can give information and information to him uh, via this platform okay okay uh, mr frank ajam if i am audible to you aap ap- ap- kindly unmute your mic Mr. Frank Azam. Hello, can you hear me? इंटरनेशनल वर्कशॉप जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी Uh, our honorable speaker mr frank azam has joined and uh, because the session is already running late uh, without uh, holding on for long i would request uh, mr raj kumar uh, with the senior faculty member from our college to kindly deliver the welcome address please mr raj kumar thank you madam deepa ji myself raj kumar associate professor history of this college a very good morning and warm welcome to everyone present here it is indeed a great honor and pleasure to welcome introduce mr frank azam director of metropolitan city college london england and ceo of frank azam consultants Mr Frank Azam is an alumnus of Leicester University UK he is a renowned marketing sales and public relations consultant he is the founder and senior pastor of Frank Azam Ministries located in London as proprietor and director of studies Mr Frank Azam leads to team of tutor and experienced hand in educational sector impacting and getting academics discipline closer to prospective students globally in today morning first technical session he will broaden our knowledge on the topic and career opportunities in london we all are luckily enough to have this unique opportunity to hear mr frank azam today has just apart from I also welcome and introduce Mr. Deep Kamal Saharan, Editor in Chief, UA Haryana, Chandigarh, in second morning technical session. He is a renowned journalist, media and public relation. He know very well how we can research job in 
journalism and media. He is a very good, effective personality. He covered many stories in Haryana politics since many years. In today's technical session, broad our knowledge on the topic career in journalism. We are luckily to enough to have this unique opportunity to hear Mr. Deep Kamal Sar. Today, her test welcome, sir. Firstly, I want to request to Mr. Frank Azam to come on dais and deliver their TCS views in first technical session. Welcome, sir. Sir Frank Azam ji. Hello, uh, welcome, Mr. Frank Azam. Uh, as we move forward, I would like to tell you that this is a five-day international workshop. Uh, we are uh, gathering on this uh, Google Meet platform for last four days. This is the fourth day of the five-day workshop. And uh, we have we have had technical sessions with uh, speakers from different areas and from different regions. And uh, we are privileged to have you with us. So kindly take on. Thank you. Um, Summit Girl, how are you? Everybody listening to me there, and how are you? Students, gentlemen, professors, doctors, wherever you are, whatever your status, in the Indian country and community, I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to talk to you about our college metropolitan city college and to talk to you how it works in europe especially in the united kingdom my name is frank azams you have been told already that i'm a preacher i'm a teacher i'm a lecturer i'm a father of five kids and by god's grace i have been blessed in several things in life i wasn't born yesterday I have seen a lot. However, India, the way I look at India today, I will, I, I will wait on the topic first. I want to say India, your country, is one of the greatest countries in the world. I ran a survey about India. We see that in 10 years' time, India will be the most populated country in the world with 2 billion population, followed by China, 1.5, and Nigeria, half a billion. So you have a great country, and there are opportunities there. That said, in this most civilized world, among which is United Kingdom, this country, United Kingdom, ranks first. It's the most multicultural country in the world. It's so diverse. There are all nationalities in the world represented in this country. I came to this country as a small boy, but I know how it works here in Europe. I'm happy about it. However, I grew up into the sciences, physics, math, and the rest of them, but I settled for the social sciences. For which reason, we created the Metropolitan City College. We are social science based. That is fine. Among which are marketing, sales management, retail management, public relations, advertisement, event management, hospitality, and tourism, project management, human resources, media journalism, social care and community development, as well as crutch management, psychology and sociology. However, I'm going to cite a lot of examples, the opportunities that come with marketing, sales management, project management, retail management, and media journalism in the United Kingdom. Here we come. I start. As I'm talking, I want the students to listen to me very well because I'm a motivational speaker. For instance, anybody that wants to commit suicide, if they listen to me, they will not die. Why? I will strengthen their heart. So I'm trying to talk to the students who are there who want to start life afresh. Nobody, I repeat, this is a statement of fact. Nobody is ready for a thing until he takes a step. Anybody that tells you not to take a step is deceiving you. Set out. What are your plans in life? What do you want to achieve? 
What are your desires? What are your goals? This is where you are at this threshold, at this point in time. You want to navigate the murky waters of the world. You have one life to live. You live. You perform your act. But before this, you have to show what you are here for. Now, for instance, you want to set out to study a social science with the Metropolitan City College. For example, you decide to choose either marketing or sales management or retail management or project management. Good. If you register with us, I am the head among other tutors. We are all alumni of the same university. We set out to create this college to train professionals. Once you finish up, if you choose a topic with us, say for example, marketing or sales management, any one of them, we shall quietly run you through a 10 months to one year diploma level five um, a course. You will do four assessment tests because it is four model per topic. And you will do an invigilator <laughs> lab. Hello? Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes you're not. Yes, sir. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. We are getting, sir. Yeah. So you will now be able to, because you are starting, I'm speaking to the students who are there, who uh, kindly, if they want to register and come to the UK to study as well too. And then when they go through all this and do their exam in their country, we are connected with the network of worldwide exams. And if they pass, they have their level five. And if they choose to come and study in the United Kingdom, we shall secure them a letter of offer in a, a, one of the partner university we feed our students to. When we get that document, then they will pay their fees to the university, and then we'll get the letter of offer, plus our own reference. We shall now use our legal department to get across to the British embassy in your country. When you go there, they will give you a visa. We will receive you at the airport and show you your accommodation. You start your studies. What we normally plan to do is we shall encourage all our students who came into this country through us to quickly do a three years degree program and move to a master's for one year and two years for a PhD. That is where they have the status to start very well in life. I will give you several examples. People came to this country. They came as students. Some of them were born, but some of them that came as students here, their parents have to borrow money from their country. They come from a very poor background. Sometimes they take loans from the bank. Sometimes they get sponsors. Sometimes it's their parents who did everything possible to push them abroad to UK. When they arrive here, I'm giving you an example of people who came as I want you to come if you want to come. They climbed through the source. They went through the university um, process and they became CEOs of big companies. They became politicians of repute. They have status. Here in the United Kingdom, we have big conglomerates, say little like Walmart, a big retail company worldwide. We have the headquarters as well here. They have Aldi, they have Asda, they have Sainsbury's, they have Tesco's, on and on and on. I want to tell you one thing. Whatever thing you want to do, marketing is the first thing. Even God who created us, marketed the world to us. We need to know the environment we are. How do we know? It is by marketing. Producing companies, manufacturing companies, they go outside the, the, the town. They produce. They need marketers to get it to the city. They need salesmen to bring it to people. They need awareness. They need the skills of a marketer. That is where we come in. You see, listen, I'm not trying to talk down doctors or talk down engineers. 
But I want to tell you, people who study some social science skills and topics, their progress is exponential. They turbocharge their progress so quickly. It is magnified. If you come to the, UK, to the United Kingdom and you want to be here, I will advise, be good, follow good people. Because even in the, in the university, there are bad people. Don't follow bad grounds. Don't follow people who drink. Don't follow people who go smoking and they forget. And some of them have a very rich family. They are not serious. But you know why you are here. That is why you have us. We shall be mentoring you. We shall be coaching you. We shall be counseling you. Because the university is so big. They may not have time for you once you register, keep studying. But you have us as your backup. That's the good thing. And I am a clergyman. I'm a priest. I preach to people. I change people. People who are bad, I talk to them. I preach to them to change their wrong lifestyle. Don't come into the United Kingdom and you begin to look at some bumbling, delusional, confused xenophobes. No. Follow the right source. Do the right thing so that you can grow. Be good. Play by the rules. If you don't want to play by the rules, there are consequences. Amon Holmes, the father of religion, he says, if you make a mistake or you sin, I'm sorry, there are going to be consequences. You must play by the rules. That is why, for example, you're driving a car. You get to a T-junction. You must wait for the traffic light. That is, you are obeying the rules. But if you decide to drive across without care, you have broken the rules. It's going to be anarchy. It's going to be accident of a monumental nature. So if you go to the university setting, play by the rules. In the community you live, play by the rules. The church or what religion you belong to, play by the rules so that it will be good. Because if you make mistake, it's going to catch up with you. That said, what am I trying to say? After your degree, it is not enough to have your degree. You are going to step out and start your life. This is the next phase of it. Because you can have your degree, you didn't make a very good use of it. You will have to make good use of your degree. What do you want to achieve in life? That is where you have to bring out your desire. What is your goal? What is your desire? These are the things that will motivate you. I want to be and I want to do is the first thing about it. I will encourage you, don't let anybody deceive you that you cannot. Who told them that you can't? You said you can. Motivate yourself. You can't because it is in your head that you can. And when you begin to think you can, you can, you can, you become what you are thinking. It becomes two ways. If you begin to think that you want to be a drunker, you become a drunker. You want to begin to think and think and think. You want to be bad, you become bad. If you want to think that you begin to murder people on the street, you become that thing. Covertly, if you begin to think that you want to be good, you want to be a professor, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a, you, you want to be a good thing in your community, you will become the same thing. You will become all these things you want to be. Why? Because you have motivated yourself. I always tell people that you can because you think you can. You can achieve any dream. What am I trying to say? With my motivational skill, any student that registered with Metropolitan City College is going to have the advantage of my knowledge. I wasn't born yesterday. I've seen enough. I've gone up and down. I want to advise anybody, even including you, who are the professors, you, who are the doctors, you, the management of that college where this thing is coming out from, including Girls Summit. You can achieve anything in life. You can get to any high station in life. Think big to achieve big. Don't think small. But I warn you, in whatever thing you want to do, even after your PhD, problem will come. You might have setbacks. When this setback come, you fall, stand up. They push you back, go forward. Dare to achieve. If you don't want to have problems, 
go and live in the cemetery because the only people who doesn't have problem in life are people in the cemetery. If you know what I mean. So when problem comes, solve it because problem are like in your college days when your your lecturers gives you projects. You solve the projects and move on. You do your exam and move on. So when problem come, jump it, surmount it, move on. Because life is not going to be easy sometimes. That is why in life, a lot of people who have achieved successfully in life and became very rich, very prosperous, and with a big status in the community, some of them started with very bad, bad backlog. They come from a very bad parent. They came from disadvantaged, privileged homes. That is why I allow C, the Chinese professor, the Chinese philosopher. He says, show me, tell me, any successful man. Oh, I will tell you, I know the man who have gone through storms in life. Storms will come. They came so that you would jump them over. We are in the Atlantic Ocean. We are seeing waves and waves and waves. But we have to swim ashore. We won't allow the wave to take us. But that is why. If you finish up and you study with us, you come into the United Kingdom, we will try to make sure that you have your visa, you come and study in the university here. We will begin to guide you how to be the best. A classic example is a, a, a boy from Indonesia. He came here. He barely cannot speak very good English, but he managed. He was speaking bastardized English, if you know what I mean. Not the best. But within six years of being in the university, he became a professional. He went through all the ranks today. He is one of the board members of a very high conglomerate. I don't have his permission to quote his name. I won't. I will give you examples. There are Indians, there are Pakistanis, there are Africans. They came, South Americans, they came to this country as a nobody. They studied, they were, were very well behaved, they play by the rules. They are in all corridors of power. Today, their award is law in big aircraft company in big ship brocade and manufacturing firms, in big construction companies, in big retail companies. But they came here with nothing. I repeat, if I want to go back, their parents barely put up some money, borrowed. They loaned money to push the children that if one person makes it, that one person will help the other ones. And while they are here, they are very well behaved. I go into another thing. Don't forget I'm a clergyman. To tell you that when you come here, we will guide you not to make mistakes. We will guide you to be in the right path. You will have a part-time job to support you as well. And we will be able to see that when you have your part-time job, we shall augment it by linking you with some charity organizations where you will be just a volunteer. You will be having some extra money to for keep up. Clothing, feeding, medicals, all these things will come up. So what I'm trying to tell you here is, if you do register with us, sure, you will make wave. You will come to a point whereby you will be able to have excess money. People who saw you move as a poor boy, as a poor girl, they will see you climb and rise to a very high station in life. Why won't you achieve all these things? Because you are well motivated. Because you know where you are going. That is why we tell people, your desire, your goals, will be these things that will be moving you forward, itching you to the next level, from one level to the other. And I want to remind you, because I'm speaking to you all there, you are Indian. The Indians in this country, United Kingdom, making waves, they are a lot. They came here as a nobody, but they went through education. Some of them got their wives in the, from the university. 
They made everything. They were so good. They were so well behaved. While some people were misbehaving in the college or campus, they were very well behaved. That is where you have the advantage of us. We will be guiding you. We will be mentoring you. We will be coaching you. You are like our product. You are going to be like our child. We will make sure that you succeed so that that will be a reference point. Mr. This or Mrs. This was with us. He came to this country through us, into this country. We helped him get his visa. We helped him get his admission. He is now here. That is what we are after. It is a legacy issue here. So what am I trying to say? Let me recap. I will soon close in 10 minutes now. Is set out your goals. Set out your dreams. What are your desires? What do you want to achieve? You want to be a marketer? You want to be a retail manager? But you have your degree to back you. You will climb. We will show you how you climb through all the stratas, through all the levels, and you get to where you are going to. God willing, you will be where you want to be. We are only going to give you a plank. We are a feeder college. We feed people to big universities. And while you are there, you will have the advantage of our mentoring and coaching you. And while you are there, we can be linking to your parents or your sponsors. They will ask us questions. We'll tell them how. I guess the uh, right Ma'am, you are audible, but, but uh, Mr. Frank Adams uh, is not audible. Okay. Hello, uh, Mr. Adams. If I'm audible, kindly respond on the text. Is there any technical problem, Mr. Azam? Kindly respond on the text. You are not audible. Uh, I guess the connection is low. It may be, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Goel, you can please uh, telephonically contact us with them. Yes, I try. Yes, I try yeah. my best, ma'am. Uh, yeah. In the meanwhile time, uh, our next speaker, uh, Dr. Deep Kamal, is with us. You can continue with, uh, with his uh, inspirational lecture. Sir, uh, let's wait for some time. He may be trying to connect, no? Uh, it's okay. It's okay, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so meanwhile, I would like to call uh, Baljinder. She was trying to uh, share her views uh, about the workshop with us. Uh, but meanwhile, the speaker joined. Uh, Madam Baljinder, you will try to say something. You're most welcome. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Um, मैम मैं ये कहना चाहूंगी कि ये हमारे कॉलेज की तरफ से फर्स्ट एफर्ट्स है कि हम ऑनलाइन ऐसी वर्कशॉप अरेंज कर रहे हैं और बहुत से लोग हरियाणा से और हरियाणा से बाहर से भी हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं और मैं अपनी पूरी टीम को स्पेशली आपको सुमित जी को हमारे प्रिंसिपल सर को अच्छे से एफर्ट के लिए बधाई देना चाहूंगी और बहुत अच्छा जा रहा है मैम थैंक यू मैम यही कहना था Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, Gulab sir, would you like to share something with us? Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. First day, we are listening to different fields. We have come here in the field. They have given us all the knowledge from their area and the area they are living in. They have given us all the knowledge from their area. I think that वर्कशॉप इस तरह की मेरे ख्याल से पहली बार ही हो रही है तो 
कि सभी स्पीकर्स ने जितनी भी जानकारियां दी है वो बहुत ही वैल्युएबल है बहुत ही इंफॉर्मेटिव है बहुत ही काम की चीज है वो सारी काम की बातें हैं अगर हमारे विद्यार्थी जो है उस पर फोकस करेंगे और जो भी जिस भी स्पीकर की बात उनको सही से समझ में आई है जो उनके इंटरेस्ट की है अगर वो उसके हिसाब से लेके चलेंगे तो मुझे लगता है कि ये वर्कशॉप जो है अपने आप में उनके जीवन के लिए एक माइलस्टोन होने वाली है और इसके लिए मैं पूरे कॉलेज की जो फैकल्टी है जो इसमें लगी हुई है पूरी तरह से हमारे प्रिंसिपल सर है डॉक्टर दीपा मैम है सुमित सर है और बाकी सारे के सारे जो डॉक्टर विभा है राजकुमार जी हैं उन सब को मैं बहुत ही बधाई देना चाहूंगा इस चीज के लिए और अभी कल का दिन हमारे पास और है कई सारे स्पीकर्स और बाकी हैं मुझे लगता है कि ये अभी और ज्यादा हेल्पफुल जो है हमारे बच्चों के लिए भी और हमारी फैकल्टी के लिए भी होने वाली है थैंक यू मैम वेल थैंक यू सर इनफेक्ट कल्चरल एक्सचेंज इन एनी फॉर्म इज ऑलवेज एन रिचिंग फॉर एवरी वन मैम बिल्कुल uh mr pradeep was trying to say something uh pradeep sir would you like to say something i got a nothing ma'am nothing ma'am all right all right i would like to speak the thing we Hi. must uh, wait for the uh, england speakers but i want to spread this message only but that things is over ma'am yes. i would like to say something yes please um i do have a certain objection to whatever mr frank was saying now um oh, certain day uh, uh, i would not like to share it with him but uh, he was saying uh, you come as a nobody to us and then we um, teach you how to do these things such and such things but the thing is that do we are nobody that entering there do our students are um, having no existence i mean no uh, self respect or something like that because you cannot disip um, certainly is discipline is there but but the exact existence mm -hmm. the wonderful existence that we, our youth is having uh, mm -hmm. how these uh, students of ours how the people of ours are reaching to the posts of ceos and all in western mm -hmm. countries if they are nobody and it's um, it's only the teaching of those uh, that are making them no i appreciate your uh, the concern and uh, no doubt it should be raised and no no one has any right to you know uh, diminish importance of any human uh, being na? so uh, it will be conveyed in a subtle manner to him and uh, He That's why I didn't, speak, uh, I didn't speak at that time when he was uh, speaking. I didn't raise objection during that time because we should certainly respect. Because ours manners are not like that. Uh, okay. uh, we should certainly respect. Uh, it's quite possible he didn't mean so. Yeah, it's quite possible because he is a preacher. You know, at the times where uh, uh, being used are really are uh, really objectionable to me. Yeah, on a public platform, I agree with you. One should mind one's words. Uh, of course, one can't be careless with the words on a public platform. I agree with you, and it will be subtly conveyed to him. Uh, please be assured of that. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. um uh, but he is a preacher actually so uh, sometimes these preachers you know being uh, uh, at a position they uh, think of themselves as uh, godly figures so uh, such kind of gesture uh, madam we are ourselves professors exactly not professors but i consider myself to be a teacher and being a teacher i i i certainly object to whatever is uh, whoever is considering himself to be god figure exactly exactly i uh, totally agree with you and i appreciate your concern and uh, i appreciate your gestures that you bothered to raise it and it will be conveyed just be assured all right not on the public okay. platform but subtly in person it will be conveyed to him okay thank you ma'am yeah yes uh, we have so many participants from different regions of Har haryana from different regions of india in fact so uh, i would like if any of the participants because so far uh, the 
people who have shared their views have been from our own college only. So I'd like the participants from other colleges and uh, other regions to kindly share their opinions about the workshop. Your feedback is really important for us. Yes, anyone? Uh, Deepa, ma'am, I would certainly like to share my views on your workshop. Uh, yeah. Though uh, uh, I recently raised the objection, but frankly speaking, uh, uh -huh. the way you have organized this workshop is quite good. Uh, uh -huh. I'm enjoying this workshop. And uh, certainly I'm learning the things uh, yesterday even. Uh, um, I think the students must be uh, having something good from your workshop also. And mm -hmm. we will be able to teach our students, tell our students uh, certain new ways to develop themselves uh, mm -hmm. after attending this workshop. Thanks for organizing such a wonderful workshop. Thank you, ma'am. Well, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, we have tried ki we cover different uh, uh, career uh, paths uh, like journalism we have included. Uh, we have uh, included, uh, we called a, a, a placement consultant also and, um, and this um, from different areas of the world, from different regions of the world, we have tried to include the speakers. And, uh, you know, whenever we interact with uh, people of different origins, we always enrich with each other's experiences. So I hope that it would have been an enriching experience. And meanwhile, I would like to ask Mr. Sumit Goel, what is the status of the conversation with Mr. Ajam? Uh, Mr. Sumit Goel, please uh, update us. Hmm. Naresh sir, are you with Mr. Sumit Goel? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, sir, uh, status? Uh, sir uh, Jos, uh, he has lost the connection uh, mm -hmm. from there. Uh, he has called me. Uh, so you mm -hmm. you can continue with the other speaker. Okay, all right. Thanks, so, uh, all right, all right. Dear participants, uh, I'm, uh, I really apologize for the delay and all the uh, technical hustles. But I hope uh, you won't mind that and uh, you understand that technical issues are always there. Now, uh, Mr. Frank Azam has uh, lost the connection. But we have the second session, for, uh, second speaker for this technical session with us. Mr. Uh, Mr. Deep Kamal is with us. And um, Rajkumar sir has already introduced the speaker to you. I would like the new uh, second speaker to kindly take on please. Mr. Deep Kamal, if you can. Yeah, is Mr. Deep Kamal with us? Uh, the second speaker, Mr. Deep Kamal. Sir, are you with us? Ma'am, but he is not audible. Deep Kumal sir, आपकी आवाज हम तक नहीं पहुंच रही है. आपका speaker जो है वो on नहीं है सायद. वो online है sir वैसे? Yes ma'am, he is online but he is not audible. Uh, Sumit sir, एक बार आप call करके please बोलिएगा उनको, because हम यहाँ से बोल रहे हैं, तो भी उन तक नहीं पहुँच पा रही है बात. Deep Kamal Saharanji jo hai, he has almost 13 years of experience with various leading channels, uh, especially of Haryana. As a TV journalist, 
he has been working he has worked as a news editor he is in charge of input and output departments news anchor he is moderator for panel discussions and he has been a field reporter in delhi chandigarh and all over haryana he is a editor of yuva haryana also so he has vast experience in journalism he has worked with khabre abhi tak he has worked with uh, Uh, Jantantra TV news channel as news editor. He has uh, worked with Khabre Abhi Tak news channel as news editor. He has worked with Khabre Abhi Tak as bureau chief also in the Chandigarh. He has worked with A1 Tehelka Haryana TV channel as input output head. Then he has worked with India News Haryana as producer account anchor. He has also worked with Khabre Abhi Tak. as producer cum anchor he has worked with stv haryana news as special correspondent cum anchor he has worked part time with the center for studies of developing societies and uh, he has been training with doordarshan parliament street also so a long experience very vast experience in mass communications he has uh he is uh, his mic is unmute but i don't know why he is not audible to us there must be some technical problem mr deep kamal am i audible to you uh your voice is not reaching us can we see what is the problem all others are requested the mics please ready to ma'am aapka mic on hai please aap off isko unmute kijiyega uh, deep kamal sir please try to connect uh, some mic or something um, sir microphone it's not working i think sir i guess uh, are you connected with phone or uh, 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 whatever your system is i think the mic of the system is not working no your voice is not audible sir phone ka microphone uh, on okay can you hear me now ha uh, now yes yes you are audible okay okay, okay. actually I have got a new laptop, and I, I think there is some problem with its settings because we have been regularly using uh, Google Meet and Zoom sessions, but there has never been a problem. But today somehow it is not working. So I have joined in two sessions in two uh, in two devices now, and I hope now it somehow works well. Uh, uh, so it is it is properly audible now to everyone. Yeah, properly audible, sir. Please carry on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks, Doctor Deepa Sharma, Baljinder Ji, Gulab Ji, and uh, Sumit Ji. Everyone from uh, the Government College, Matakmaji, for giving and I was hearing the first session also. So I understand that this is a really an international exposure level uh, webinar that you are hosting and providing such a nice. exposure and experience to your students and also to the faculty myself uh, i am um, here to present my views and my experience about the journalism field the mass communication the job opportunities and what this field is all about so please uh, enlighten me with me that if we, uh, if we have students from journalism and mass communication stream also do we have any not in particular sir we don't have mass communications in our college but from different colleges of course there may be there okay 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 so i would like to uh, uh, we have a faculty member uh, deep kamal sir we have faculty members from mass communication uh, joined with us okay okay so it is about journalism about uh, media about uh, what we call uh, patrikarita and reporters and uh, newspapers television everything about uh, the things that include in journalism and mass communication i would like to share briefly about this is a 
presentation and I hope it works well. So can you see the presentation? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So as we all know, journalism is uh, all around us in the lives of uh, everyone, including us, that we uh, see news and we get to know about current affairs through various modes of journalism, about media, about what's happening in politics, sports, crime, and everything else that is important around us. So basically, why is this field so uh, happening and why are people uh, looking up to journalism for a career opportunity or for um, for a field where we can, they can be recognized? It is because as a social human, we all have quest for information and for knowledge. We all want to know things that why and how uh, things are happening around us. When did they happen and who did them? So it is about the information of current affairs around, around us and knowledge, which is slightly different from information, a refined version of information is knowledge. That also we gain through news and various forms of media. So this is the basic core of working area in journalism. We want to know about various regions, like if we are sitting in Chandigarh or Delhi, we want to know how is the things uh, in in law and order or in politics or any other current affairs happening around us. If we talk about country, we want to know how the economy of the country uh, is going on, what is happening in cricket, what is happening in other fields of sports or uh, maybe international affairs. So we want to know about our area, our geographical limits. We want to know who is important here and who has been doing something different recently. And similarly, apart from geographically, we want to know about other uh, fields of working where people uh, who are not from our field. If you are in academics, obviously we want to know about our academics field, about universities, about government education departments and all, but also we want to know about other fields of working area. And there come journalism, there come various forms of media. So this is another aspect that we want to know things uh, before every, uh, before people around us know about them, we want to know it first and in a better way. So that is the core thing of competitiveness in journalism. Uh, that is the core why various forms of newspapers and media and uh, TV channels exist. Because if there was just a quest to know information around us, there could be a very few or there could be just one or two form of media. But since there is a desire to know things before others and in a different way, in a better way, in a more refined way, there is competitiveness and there are lots of media going around us, be it digital media recently or um, electronic media or TV media two, three decades ago. So there is, it is always evolving and a growing field where people try to present information and news in a better way than uh, what is existing already. So if we talk about what includes journalism or uh, news making process. It basically consists of three elements. First is collection of news. And then second is editing or analyzing of news. And the third part is presenting, publishing or dissemination of news. So this you can call it input, editing and output. What we see around us is a result of this whole process and as the words indicate themselves, the first part, collection of news means news gathering from the field, from various sources, from various people. It may be some departments, it may be some event happening around us, or it may be from uh, maybe police stations, or maybe from sports section, various forms, wherever the news exists, wherever the news is generating from. So if we take the example of this webinar, the collection of news will include uh, attending the sessions, interacting with the 
uh, scholars, with this, with the speakers, and with the organizers, organize, organizers, that how and uh, in what sequence they are organizing the sessions and uh, noting down all the key points of the webinar and then sending them to the concerned office or uh, concerned uh, organization which media anyone any reporter is working so that will be the collection of news and it includes taking photographs it includes uh, recording videos in it includes noting down all the names and figures that are related to the news and anything else it, that, that, that also includes taking contact numbers and uh, reference points, reference people numbers so that they can further be contacted for any clarification and all. So collection is a different uh, in itself, complete in itself a field which we call, which we call uh, popularly known as reporting, the reporters. They are part of news collection. And then the second part comes, which is editing or analyzing the news. This is an important and uh, skilled task, which is done as at the headquarters or at the uh, editing desk, what we call it, in of the newspaper or the TV channel or website or magazine. It is the editing section where the editor sits and the team under him or her analyzes the various content, various news received from different sources, different reporters. They edit those reports. They, uh, you know, bring them to a logical and conclusive uh, format. And uh, uh, sometimes they cut it short to maybe half or maybe one fourth of whatever was received. And if it is very important and is connected to some other big stories or big events, this enhance it also. They sometimes elaborate it, elaborate it with the other news sources or uh, from other reporters or other reference material, and they enhance the news. Maybe if a reporter has sent a one-page story, the editing desk may enhance it to a, maybe a two-page story or three-page story by uh, adding a research material to it. So editing is that part where they choose which photo will be published and what will be the headline because headline is very important it decides it sets the tone of the story it's it gives a perspective to the news so editing section is very very important they yes one more thing at editing point there are times when news are totally dropped suppose a reporter sends the news and uh, uh, he thinks it's a uh, worthy news it should be published but the editor or the editing section of the newspaper or tv channel feels that it is not a news which which can be shown or which can be given space in the bulletin or the newspaper so they drop it uh, right away they drop it completely it is not carried uh, to the publication or to the tv channel so that also is a part and the third part is dissemination of news, which is uh, publishing or designing or drafting in, in, the, uh, in the newspaper and presenting as a news bulletin by anchoring and uh, TV presentation in TV channels. So we all are aware about dissemination of news, that it is the format of uh, news which, is, which reaches us, which we see finally as a final product of any exercise in journalism that is dissemination of news from their perspective. So these are three basic departments that any media organization works as, and uh, you can sum it as input, editing, and output. So talking about how uh, this Field is important and what are its challenges we will discuss in detail also in coming slides and in the, uh, points that will be that we will cover so it is a dynamic fast paced and very competitive field it's dynamic means it is always evolving and it's um, changing with time with upgradation of technology and with the uh, competitiveness around 
and with the demand of the viewers or the readers. So as all of you have seen in last maybe one or two decades, we have ourselves seen and felt that uh, news presentation has changed, that forms of media that are around us have changed. Earlier there was, uh, in, in our context, in context of India, there was Doordarshan and we used to have one or two um, half hour bulletins in the evening and uh, in, there was All India Radio which carried five minutes news every hour. That was all the uh, information source at the level of electronic media we had. Uh, maybe 20, 30 years ago. And there were newspapers that carried uh, news in black and white papers and simple formats and not very uh, elaborate and uh, and in very uh, presentable and colorful ways. So that was the time, that was the limitation of uh, technology at, uh, at that point of time. And that was as per uh, capabilities of the industry also. But dynamically, it has changed to a great extent. Now we don't uh, rely much on Doordarshan and All India Radio for news. We have uh, dozens of Hindi and English and regional uh, TV channels uh, that provide news in much interesting way and at a fast pace. And uh, then, as we uh, we see all uh, we we see these days that there are a number of web portals and news applications and websites and even social media where we gather uh, where we get information about local news and news related to some specific field and it's a very competitive field as you know that because there is a quest of uh, information before others and in better way so it that makes it a very competitive field and uh, the skills that needed uh, here are writing, editing, and researching. So these are basic elements that one should have as an as aptitude while going for journalism and while thinking that he or she can work in a um, field of journalism better than other fields. So if uh, one has skills of writing or aptitude for writing and editing, presenting things better way, correcting and uh, uh, keeping his or her writings grammatically correct and in a presentable way and also research. This is also an important thing that uh, because you have to present a news or an event in a better way, in a skilled way, you should have an aptitude for research. You should be able to find various references, various things that, that you think the reader or the viewer will find interesting. That is the only reason uh, uh, people will stick to your medium or your platform. That's why you will uh, be able to fight the competition. So research is an important thing and this is also uh, something which is uh, uh, not valued so much in the earlier days of anyone's career because everyone is uh, fascinated by the glamour or by the uh, attention one gets as a reporter or as a journalist. So research sometimes take a back seat, but nonetheless, it is very, very important. The next point you see on the slide is that journalists play a major role in the development of a nation. This is a, a, a something uh, ethical and something uh, abstract form of uh, outcome of journalism that media of a country or media as such are part of democracy, you can say, or the system or the uh, kind of governance we have around, media is part of it. If media is taking up something positively and presenting things positively, then that is taken that way by the masses and uh, it helps the government, it helps the administration in taking things forward, giving pace to the development. And if the media of a country uh, picks things or chooses the topics which are not in sync or in line with the government policies, then there have been conflicts and we have seen in various parts of the world that uh, there has been various clashes because of uh, journalism, because of reporting that is done at some points.
So the third point is that journalists, uh, to begin with, uh, they are uh, uh, what we call jack of all trades. They are expected to know about uh, everything uh, that is uh, coming in news. So they should be knowing about business, about politics, about government, administration, judiciary, culture, arts, history, economics, entertainment and sports and many more topics. Because a newspaper carries information and news from all uh, aspects of life, from all the fields. So a reporter is expected to know something about everything. But in the later uh, stages of their career and when they are given some specific assignment, at, at the, those assignments, they may restrict their knowledge to one specific field but as such, they have to be aware about other uh, aspects of uh, society also. So this is a thing, you know, if you consider some other career, maybe um, say you are talking about a job in a bank, then as part of your job, is it not necessary that you should be aware about uh, history of our country? or you should be aware about uh, what is happening in the culture field or maybe in the football, cricket or other sports or maybe in the Bollywood. If you are working for a bank, your job is to know about the calculations, about the policies of the bank and about the schemes and products and how to uh, execute the operations of the bank. Or at the most, you are expected to know about various things related to economics, or business maybe, that's it, that's all. But in journalism, you are expected that you you are aware about what is happening, say, for today, you, are, you should be knowing what is happening in uh, Uttar Pradesh election or Punjab election or Uttarakhand, and uh, you are expected to know that which cricket series is going on these days, and what are fuel plus prices these days, and how they are expected to go up or down in coming days and uh, you're also expected to be aware about what will be the weather in coming week in our region or in north india so these are the things and whenever uh, there will be a talk about history or culture of some state or some country you're expected to contribute and you're expected to be aware about what important things that are related to that topic so this is an important thing that if you have uh, an aptitude for all such things that are happening around and that are being talked about, then journalism is a field where you can consider yourself for. Yes, there is this one more thing, uh, just for the information, just for a clarity, that uh, media and journalists are uh, separate entities, but you know, not very separate, but technically, media is a uh, plural of Medium. And what is medium? Medium is uh, a, a, a path through which we uh, pass on the information or disseminate the news. So what will in media include? Media will include newspaper, magazine, TV, radio, websites, journals, or uh, some other forms of maybe lecture or maybe some webinar. So media is the technology. Media is the platform. It is a plural of medium. Okay, sir. The medium you are using is part of media. But we uh, mistakenly or in general sense, we uh, call the journalists or the reporters or the anchors also media. No, they are humans. They are journalists. They are uh, the people who run. So you can say media, if, we, if, we, if I uh, give a, uh, an example of analogy uh, in the form of, say, uh, say driving. So car, bike, scooter or some other form or cycle are media. And the person who drives it, who rides it or who sits in, in it are journalists. So that is a, a brief, uh, you know, differentiation between media and journalist. But usually people uh, take these names in place of each other. But just for uh, the information media is the plural of medium and it is about the platform only and the people who run it or work in it are journalists. 
So here we have two forms of media, as uh, as I briefly uh, uh, told earlier also, that print media and electronic media, popularly around us. Print media includes the uh, journals, the mag journals, the magazines, newspapers that are in the form of print. And electronic media is what is presented in the forms of audio and video. And also these days in the forms of web articles, web presentations on uh, various news portals and uh, maybe on social media also. So these are few examples of print media and these are examples of electronic media as I just told you. So this is another that has, that has added to it in the last five to six years, which is social media, which has evolved with the uh, availability of uh, free or cheap broadband mobile data and with the arrival of uh, smartphones in everyone's hands, social media has also evolved in last five to six years, especially after 2014, 15. Uh, but it is also a part of electronic media because uh, it is also uh, a source where information is presented electronically on an electronic platform, not in hard copy of a newspaper or magazine. Now again, this is uh, the form of uh, what I uh, what I told you as components of uh, journalism as input, editing, and output. So you can relate to the people who do the input part, that is the collection of news part, which which is uh, uh, you know the input section of any uh, media organization. There are the reporters, as you can easily understand and relate to it that reporters collect the inputs of any media source and editors and producers are those who edit uh, in print media in a newspaper there are editors who correct the language who correct the facts who make uh, grammar proper and uh, uh, make sentences short and there uh, also they improve the sequence of information the flow of information what will be uh, as which, what will be the headline, what will go in the first paragraph, and what will follow after it, and how it will be concluded. So th they are the editors. And in TV section, we call them producers who produce or who uh, refine the video news. They are producers. And then there are designers or presenters. Designers design the newspaper, the whole page, one page of newspaper, and the next page, and the uh, page number three and then so on and then the last page and then they club it as a newspaper of maybe 12 pages or 16 pages or 20 pages that that reaches our homes every morning they are the designers and same way there are the presenters who present the news bulletins who come on our tv screens and we see them and they present the news for us and then there are the backend team which is of researchers who provide the uh, research material who, because if you um, go through a newspaper of any day there is not just current affairs there are things that are you know uh, about maybe last month or maybe last one year or from the history or from some other parts of country or there are future projections also there are articles about what might happen next month or in next uh, two three months or next year so th that is from uh, the research team because that is not an event that hasn't happened. And if we are talking about the freedom struggle of our country, that hasn't happened recently. That is not a news event that has, that has not been reported. That is part of research. So researchers are there who uh, provide the vibrant uh, content for any news platform. So in print, these are the people who uh, prepare the news. Reporters, as uh, as we know, the reporters are the uh, people who gather the news. Then there are editors, associate editors, sub-editors. These are the various levels of uh, the designation. Mm -hmm. Sub-editors are the basic host who do most of the 
basic works and then associated uh, associate editors are in charge of some you can say one page uh, an associate editor may be in charge of a national page of a newspaper another associate editor may be in charge of sports page of that newspaper and then there are editors who look into the whole uh, section or the whole uh, edition of a newspaper newspapers have uh, various editions if you uh, if you want to know about them also say if you uh, talk about say times of india then times of india in delhi will be a different newspaper times of india here in chandigarh will carry different uh, other news is news and times of india coming from lucknow will have other news and times of india in mumbai will have other news so an editor looks into one edition of uh, uh, the newspaper so times of india in delhi will have one editor and the paper in mumbai will have another editor so there are some news which are common through all the editions those may be international news those may be news related to the central government indian government about the prime minister about the policies that are for the whole country or maybe from the sports section those news will be in all the editions but rest of the material you can say 30% news is common among all the editions of a newspaper but 70% news is different when we you will pick a newspaper in chandigarh you will see a lot of news from punjab elections or from uttarakhand elections or from uh, chandigarh corporation or from haryana uh, politics you will see news in chandigarh in times of india and if you pick a newspaper in lucknow you will see a uh, massive reporting about uttar pradesh elections and uttarakhand elections and about the politics in uttar pradesh and about the economics of the state about crime in uttar pradesh so that will consist of around 50 to 70% of that edition and rest of the paper will be more or less common the third element you see on screen is proofreaders this is a, a job which uh, people outside the media hardly know about but this is what make just a second am i audible very much yes, audible. audible actually because i have connected on two devices and uh, this mobile will be getting regular calls so if uh, if it happens again i will continue after disconnecting the call so the proof readers uh, they, uh, anyone has any idea about proof readers as i told you people outside media don't know about them they are the people who uh, correct and uh, refine the language and presentation of the article they don't uh, look into the facts or the events or the information in the in the article or in the news they just work on the grammatical part or in the literary part or it's uh, you know presenting presentation in a structured way where will be the uh, what kind of words will be used in what kind of story and if there is any spelling mistake if there is any problem with the sentence formation are proper examples given and uh, what will be given in the uh, what news will be presented in what sort of language because if you speak one newspaper and you uh, read a, a news about a crime about uh, some happening in academic section and then you turn on to page number maybe 7 or 8 where you will see the news from sensex or from business world you will find that that the language is very different on the first page you will find easier form of language much easy to uh, read and comprehend and on the pages where we talk about economy about the editorial page about uh, the business world you will find some sophisticated words and language so proof readers maintain all those flows that flow in the newspaper that uh, that everything looks perfect to the nature of the news or the content of that news part 
they basically are responsible for they basically are responsible for the language and grammar of the uh, newspaper but they maintain all the language related part of the newspaper they are proofreaders they they ensure that the paper is you know we, what we call bulletproof or waterproof so they ensure that the paper is language mistake uh, mistakes proof or you know something of that sort that the paper is presented as a ideal form of publication that's why people uh, who, are pre who prepare for civil services or some other forms of competitive exams they are advised to go through uh, prominent newspapers for their for improvement in their language and uh, be aware about the current affairs so proofreaders are those people but people outside media don't know much about them but as a credibility material uh, matter of any publication, they are very important people. And then there are columnists, critics, photographers, and cartoonists. As, uh, as their name suggests, you can easily understand what they do. Columnists are people who write regular columns for a newspaper. They write maybe once in a week or twice a week, or maybe once in a month. They write about specific field. Their article appears. The article appears about uh, a specific field. Just give me a, a few seconds. I'm trying to put my phone on uh, aeroplane mode and on Wi-Fi. I hope it works. Okay, it looks good now. I won't be getting any calls. And then there are critics. Then there are photographers and cartoonists. And in the same way, in the field of uh, TV media, we have reporters along with their cameramen who uh, record the videos. In field, we have reporters with photographers and in the TV media, we call them cameramen who video, who record the videos and uh, do all the shooting. Part. And uh, on the desk part where editing is uh, done, as, as I told you, there are editors, associate editors, sub editors in, newspa in news newspaper and in TV news, there are they are, they are called executive producers, producers, assistant producers. So these are just the titles of various posts who do all the work in a news channel. And in the presentation part, there are anchors and presenters. These are just different names, but more or less they do the same thing. And uh, then there are VT editors, uh, sound recordists and technical support because TV media is a, a totally technology driven field. So there are lots of technicians involved in the process of uh, news production. VT editors are called video editors who edit the video things. And then there are people who look into the audio part, this sound thing. And uh, then there are people who uh, maintain the quality lighting of the studio and other graphic work. There are a lot of graphics in TV news these days who are, uh, who prepare the animations and, uh, uh, and text presentations in different fancy ways, in different attracting, attractive ways with lots of uh, animation, fires, and uh, background music, background sound. They are the graphic material, they, they are the graphic people who provide all these technical supports to uh, uh, a good TV bulletin. So next thing is news websites. As we know around us that there are they are the fast emerging medium and uh, it is influential also because everyone these days has a mobile in their hand and they can easily log into a news website. They, they provide notifications also. If you have a news app or you have logged in to, into a news portal and you select the notifications, you will see a pop up on your screen that will tell whenever a prominent news is uh, published there. So. News news are updated there regularly at uh, you know various times in a day. Wherever you get a newspaper once a day, once it's published in the night, the next edition will come 24 hours after it. And the limitation of TV news is that you have to be at home or in front of a TV uh, to watch it. 
which is not possible all the time. And once the news appears on a TV, you have to see it at that time only. If a news comes at at, uh, at this moment at 11:25, and if you are in front of TV, say after five minutes, you won't see the news again. It may come after an hour, but uh, but you are not sure about it. Whereas news websites have the news all the time. A news published right now will be available after one hour, after two hours, maybe after one week and one month also. So if you search in search it and choose uh, properly, you can read the news on a news website at any point of time, at your comfort, at your desire. If you, you want to ignore, you can ignore the news also. The problem with TV news, which we talk about, is that if uh, you are watching a TV news channel and uh, the news is from, say, uh, about Odisha politics or about uh, some conflict in Nepal, and you are not interested in that, uh, either you have to change the channel or you have to be there for whatever time, two, three, five minutes that news is going on. You have to be there. You have to listen to it somehow or you have to change the channel. But in website, you can easily skip a news that you are not interested in. And the presentation level is also uh, these days very nice on news websites. They. Uh, present it in forms of pointers and using graphics and using short videos. So this 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 is an emerging field. News websites, all all the TV channels, all the newspapers are switching to news websites simultaneously along with their traditional uh, media. Every newspaper has a website or web portal. So these are uh, briefly about the courses which are available for this field, BMC, as we, as we called it briefly, which, uh, which is Bachelor in Mass Communication, or uh, some sort of a diploma, which can be done after class 12th. And at master's level, there are master's in mass communication, master's in journalism, MA mass communication, and such courses are available at various institutes. So prominent institutes in our country are a few which I have listed on uh, your screen and uh, this is not uh, a complete list you can easily search on uh, on the net as per your choice of state and uh, preference of your courses And if you talk about uh, institutes around us, then there are courses running by all the uh, major universities of our state, Haryana, and in Punjab and in Uttar Pradesh. All the universities are running courses related to journalism. The most prominent institute in the field of journalism and mass communication is IIMC Delhi. Uh, which is Indian Institute of Mass Communication. You can relate it to IIT and IIMs. On the similar pattern, there is only one institute, which is in the JNU campus in Delhi, and it is called IIMC, Indian Institute of Mass Communication, which is the most prominent institute of mass communication and journalism in our country. But, University. MDU, GJU, all universities around us, they all uh, run courses and uh, even the colleges in Karnal, Kukshetra, Panipat, Kathal, Ambala, they all have courses related to mass communication. So this is a brief idea about what one can expect in this field. Uh, to begin with, entry-level positions start with a decent salary of uh, say 25, 30,000 per month and uh, once you uh, get an experience of five to seven years, you can expect to go it to a higher level. But uh, this is not a very refined thing. You find very much variations as uh, as the level and the quality of publication comes into field. Because if you think about uh, Aztec channel, ABP News, BBC, Hindi, you can 
uh, expect very high salaries there. So these are few of the skills when, which one should have in his, in himself or herself if uh, uh, they want to try for journalism. Obviously, inquisitiveness that they want to know about various activities around them. They have to be alert and investigative in uh, in nature. They should have a command over language. They should have confidence to present and to ask questions. And they should have patience because good stories take times to build and uh, uh, takes time to build. And then you have to show lots of perseverance and consistency in uh, developing a big story, big news, good communication school skills. If you are thinking of uh, uh, TV media or radio media, and then there is this thing that you have to be available uh, 24 into 7 if you are part of reporting team because anything major can happen anytime it's not a 9 to 5 job job it's not uh, a job where you can say that this is my task and my task and other things are not my task because uh, because the purpose is to ultimately deliver the news ultimately present the information to our reader or viewer in best possible way. So uh, everyone has to play various roles without the constraints of cultural boundary, cultural upbringing, gender beyond geographical limits. We have to be ready for all the uh, assignments that we are given. So these are a few things that uh, that we can say that journalism, because it's a fancy, fancy career also, it also gives you high recognition. So you have to be prepared for things that are sometimes challenging and sometimes require high set of skills and high set of delivery. You have to be enthusiastic about mass media. You have to be uh, you know, excited that people will listen to you or people will read your news. If that things motivates you, then that is very, very uh, helpful in sometimes in giving extraordinary results. And there is a, there is this third point on your screen that journalism will never exhaust as long as there are incidents happening around us, which needs to be reported. So this thing is what uh, which has developed this field and which which will continue to develop the field because happenings will never stop the quest of uh, information the people's desire to know what is happening around them will never stop and so there will always be uh, a need for journalism and there will there will always be options to grow in this field to develop your own media to upgrade with technology and to make things better than what today we have. So digitalization is a challenge and it is changing the traditional way of journalism, but it is making things better. So these are some more few things which you can read on your screen that you have to uh, be able to uh, come out of your comfort zone and uh, use the technology what one challenge that people who were already working in the field of print media have faced that with the arrival of technology and lots of gadgets in uh, electronic media even in the print media also they find they found it difficult to adapt to new technology they were used to write on paper and uh, design things that way but when uh, internet came and when uh, smart computers came, they needed to learn. And this thing will uh, continue to happen. Nowadays, we see newspapers are also using video products. Even Amar Ujala, Dainik Bhaskar, Dainik Jagran, they are also coming with video news. So they are changing with the demand of uh, uh, their readers and uh, with, with the availability of technology in the hands of readers. Suppose you are going in a bus or you are sitting somewhere where you don't uh, you don't have access to the newspaper. You would like that 
you use your time you uh, get information in some other form so publications are also changing to those medium and they are presenting news on websites in the forms of short videos in the form of uh, short graphics so this is an a uh, regular evolving field where you will uh, keep learning always and you will uh, find that people want to know about uh, happenings around them and you have the medium you have the information in your hand that you can uh, present or you can give them and uh, that will always motivate you so this was all in the presentation i think <laughs> It it happened to be a session longer than I expected. Uh, I thought it would be in twenty to twenty five minutes, but it took much longer time because, uh, as much I know about the field, I I thought I should share with you, and um, in that effort, things go beyond the presentation also. So this was all from my side, uh, Dr. Bhupa. And well, thank you. And any inputs, any feedback from your side. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Saharan. Yes, uh, any questions, anyone from the audience? Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Saharan. My name is Sumiti, and I have a question for you. I would want to know uh, how do you feel in a time when we are actually exercising spin floss journalism? How much of a casualty has the KISS principle of journalism become? Sorry, I couldn't get what you want to know. Please. Uh... All right. I, I would just repeat, sir. We, we are uh, witnessing a time where there is more of spin floss journalism. So uh, keeping that in mind, how much of a casualty do you think the KISS principle of journalism has become. Has it become an absolute casualty or does it exist in small pockets alone? No, look, there was one part in my presentation which was social media and it, it came from citizen reporting also. Earlier, prominent platforms introduced this concept of citizen reporting where they asked common people to report about uh, what is what was happening around them and uh, then the editors or the regular staff of the publication edited those inputs from the common people and uh, then they presented it in a professional way it happened around 20 years it began around 20 years ago but as common people get mobile got mobile phones and free data in their hands we see that everyone, everyone thinks that he can present uh, uh, information around them in in the form of a professional report, and that has because we we want to encourage the democracy and we want to encourage the uh, freedom of speech, and we want to encourage that everyone should have a right to uh, tell their opinion, their views, and uh, it should not be restricted to a few reporters and a few journalists only so that has its side effects and that definitely has uh, come across that has uh, shown us things which are sometimes not very pleasant and the other thing that that is you know uh, a concern for the journalism for the media is that there are a lot of players which affect media which are in the form of advertisers, in the form of government, in the form of uh, administration, and uh, the various big houses, you know, if uh, there is an in uh, there is an industrialist in maybe in auto sector or maybe in some other big uh, industrial house, and that is running a news channel or that is running a newspaper, but. Its purpose is not uh, uh, giving information to the people or uh, creating a platform of 
good information source. Its purpose is to build its own empire. So, so they run the media, so they run the organization for that purpose in a specific way. They want to build relations with the ministers, with the government, and they want to influence the local administration with the use of that media. So there are various factors which have uh, which have affected the spirit of free journalism, and which have uh, you know uh, which have been a concern recently. But as I said, it is a ever evolving field, and people identify such ex exercises, such adventures, and I hope I hope in the both forms it comes to a situation very soon in the forms of corporate. Uh, जो उनका जो प्रेशर रहता है कॉर्पोरेट प्रेशर एंड इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ सिटीजन जर्नलिज्म व्हिच वी सी इन द सोशल मीडिया आई सो यू मेड वेरी वैलिड पॉइंट्स ऑफ कोर्स वी हैव ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड आवर ओपिनियन क्रेसी इंस्टेड ऑफ अ डेमोक्रेसी आल्सो दिस बिहाइंड मीडिया हाउस एक्चुअली स्पॉन्सर्ड एडवर्टाइजर्स टीम सो It looks better now. It looks right. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for the inputs that you made. You're very right when you say we've become an opinion crazy more than a democracy now because everybody seems to have a mic, a camera in the form of a mobile phone. That's all very valid. And media houses have become advertorial houses, so there's less of news and more of promotion. All that is very valid. But my question was slightly different. जो मैं पूछना चाह रही थी, I was talking about the KISS principle, which is the keep it simple, keep it principle of journalism. It also extends to advertising. लेकिन आज की तारीख में हम कैंडी फ्लॉस जर्नलिज्म ज्यादा देखते हैं कि हम उसे एक चम्मच चीनी को फैला फैला के बुढ़िया के बाल की तरह ज्यादा से ज्यादा टीआरपी के लिए ज्यादा से ज्यादा आई बॉल्स ग्राफ करने के लिए एडवर्टाइजमेंट रेवेन्यू ग्राफ करने के लिए फैलाते रहते हैं इट ऑल्सो टेंस टू डिसेंसिटाइज दी पब्लिक सो माई क्वेश्चन वॉज इन टाइम्स ऑफ कैंडी फ्लॉस जर्नलिज्म स्पिनिंग एंड फ्लॉसिंग लिटिल बिट ऑफ न्यूज इन टू हाफ एन आवर लॉन्ग प्रोग्राम्स how much of the kiss principle has prevailed if it has prevailed at all or if it has died a slow death or if it exists in pockets that was my question sir and so many ma'am if you principle you are mentioning uh, that will help please ma'am sir would have understood journalism has this idea of keeping things simple because from You see, yeah. the entire audience is not from the uh, field yeah. of uh, okay. journalism, isn't it? All right. It is just That's like this. कि जी जी जरूर. जैसे एक डॉक्टर को अगर एक इंटरव्यू में बात करनी टेक्नोलॉजी की बजाय ले पर्सन लैंग्वेज में बात करेगा ये एक बहुत सिंपल सा एग्जांपल है किस थ्योरी को समझने के लिए क्योंकि उसकी ऑडियंस जो है बहुत डाइवर्सिफाइड होगी सिमिलरली uh, यदि मुझे एक अखबार में एक आर्टिकल लिखना है तो मैं उसको uh, पूरे रीडर बेस का एक मीन निकाल करके कॉम्प्रिहेंशन का उस लिहाज से भाषा का चयन करूंगी तो जर्नलिज्म में कितनी भी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड न्यूज हो बिकॉज एंड ऑफ द डेट इज अट डेटा क्रांचिंग डेटा प्रोसेसिंग एंड दैट इज हाउ वी कोलेट एंड अराइव एट अ सर्टन काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज और न्यूज एज वी कॉल इट लेकिन उसके लिए हम बिल्कुल uh, इस्तेमाल करते हैं विच इज यू हैव टू किस Just keep it simple. Uh, stupid. Stupid is uh, something that we are talking to a journalist. जो बहुत heavy सी एक news लेकर आ जाए बहुत क्लिष्ट शब्दों के साथ. तो ये principle है जो ये कहता है कि आपकी भाषा, आपकी शैली, आपकी presentation जो है बहुत crisp और बहुत simple होनी चाहिए ताकि जो उसका crux है वो जन साधारण में उस व्यक्ति तक भी पहुंच पाए जिसको बहुत कम जानकारी है उस विषय की. किंतु उसका जीवन उससे प्रभावित होता है लेकिन आज के वर्तमान समय में जो हम देखते हैं हम छोटी सी चीज को हाइपर कॉम्प्लिकेट करके इवन इफ इट इज मोदी जी ने यहाँ से वहां तक चला तो उसी को 50 एवेन्यू से हम बुढ़िया के बाल जिसे हम कैंडी फ्लॉस कहते हैं अंग्रेजी में एक मीठी चीज 
तो एक एक चम्मच चीनी को फेंट फेंट करके हम एक खूबसूरत सा गुब्बारा बनाते हैं इस समय पर जर्नलिज्म है बहुत कम पॉकेट्स में है तो मेरा सर से सवाल ये था कि ये जो किस प्रिंसिपल है ये किस हद तक कैजुअलिटी बना है गए 20 वर्षों में खासतौर से भारत की बात करेंगे क्योंकि विश्व के अलग अलग समय पर अलग अलग परिस्थितियां रही हैं बट वी टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया इन पर्टिकुलर सो हाउ मच हैज किस प्रिंसिपल सफर्ड फिल ओके आई आई गोट योर पॉइंट नाउ जो जिस प्रिंसिपल के बारे में जैसे आप बात कर रहे हैं वो जब हम बेसिक जर्नलिज्म का सीख रहे थे आई डेड माई जर्नलिज्म फ्रॉम वाई एम सी इन डेली सो वी वर टोल्ड बाई अवर टीचर्स दैट यू शुड कीप योर लैंग्वेज एज सिंपल एज दैट पर्सन हु इज मे बी हु इज हेल्प इन योर हाउस और हु ड्राइव्स न्यूज पेपर देवल then only he will be able to read so in, during my presentation i uh, elaborated a point where uh, i was talking about the proof readers and i and i uh, told that they maintain the uh, level of language and uh, vocabulary or uh, the presentation as per the topic of the news सर आई लाइक टू इंटरप्ट बिट है इट्स स्टिल नॉट एड्रेसिंग माय क्वेश्चन मेरा कहने का अर्थ ये है कि हम एक छोटी सी चीज को आजकल बहुत फैलाते हैं टीआरपी के लिए uh, आप इसको लिखित भाषा में आई एम कमिंग टू दैट पॉइंट आई एम कमिंग टू दैट पॉइंट एज फॉर एज द कंसर्न ऑफ कीपिंग थिंग्स सिंपल इज कंसर्न थिंग्स आर केप्ट सिंपल इन द कंसर्न एरियाज जो न्यूज़पेपर हैं जो मीडियम्स हैं जो प्लेटफॉर्म्स हैं वो अपनी एक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इस बात को जरूर मानते हैं कि उनकी जो उनके जो पाठक हैं जो पढ़ने वाले हैं वो सारी बातों को आसानी से समझ जाएं लेकिन उसके साथ साथ उनको बैलेंस अपना दोनों तरफ का बना कर रखना होता है कि जो इन्फॉर्मेशन है जो सोर्स है जो जिस बारे में बात हो रही है उसके साथ कोई इनजस्टिस ना हो वहाँ की जो टेक्निकलिटीज हैं जो वहाँ की जो टर्मिनोलॉजीज हैं वो कहीं पे किसी हल्के फॉर्म में ना जाए तो वो वैसा संतुलन उस चीज का बना के रखते हैं ये एक पार्ट है ये मैं आपको प्रिंट के बारे में बता रहा हूँ दूसरा पार्ट जो आप टीवी का बारे में कह रहे हैं कि एक जिसको राय का पहाड़ बना देते हैं या बाल की खाल निकाल लेते हैं या फिर एक ही बात के पीछे पड़ जाते हैं इसकी शुरुआत भी कहीं ना कहीं हमारा जो हमारी जो डेमोग्राफिक सिचुएशन है कंट्री की उसके अंदर इसका एक रीजन छुपा हुआ है और टीवी मीडिया में और अखबार का जो मीडिया है उसमें एक बेसिक डिफरेंस अगर आप देखेंगे तो वो ये है कि अखबार को कितने लोगों ने पढ़ा और किसने पसंद किया ये बात वो हर हफ्ते आ जाती है वो हर हफ्ते बता देती है कौन सा चैनल का कौन सा शो कितने घंटे कितने लोगों ने देखा और कौन सा पसंद किया गया कौन सा नापसंद किया गया अब अगर एक चैनल मान लीजिए मैं चला रहा हूँ और उसमें मैंने कोई बहुत अच्छे टॉपिक्स पे और बहुत यूजफुल जो चीजें हैं उनके ऊपर मैंने प्रोग्राम्स किए बहुत ही मेहनत लगा के रिसर्च करके किया और उनके जो प्रोग्राम्स हैं वो मेरे चैनल की टीआरपी को बहुत पीछे ले गए लेकिन अगले दिन में मैंने मेरे एक रिपोर्टर ने बताया कि श्रीलंका में कहीं पे सीता का महल है और रावण की गुफा है और मेघनाथ कहाँ सोता वो जगह है और वो मैं वहां से रिपोर्ट करके लाता हूँ और वो वहां से करके लाता है और किसी तरह जैसे तैसे हम उसको चलाते हैं अगले दिन देखते हैं हमारे अगले वीक में हम देखते हैं कि उस शो की टी सबसे ऊपर चली गई फिर अगले दिन हम देखते हैं कि कहीं पे जो है वो भगवान गणेश जी दूध पी रहे हैं या कहीं पे एक रोड पे किसी सास बहू का झगड़ा हो गया और उनकी उसने एक दूसरे को खींच दिया और वहां पे लोग आ गए और वो हमने आधा घंटा दिखाया वो फिर से टॉप पे चला गया वो सबसे ऊपर चला गया फिर तीसरे दिन देखते हैं कि किसी पोलिटिशन का कोई स्कैंडल आ गया कोई वीडियो आ गया या कोई करप्शन आ गई कुछ आ गई उसको हमने छह घंटे चार घंटे हमने उसकी महाभारत बना दी और उस दिन तो चैनल ही बस 
पत्रकारिता शब्द से नहीं संबोधित करूंगी ज्यादा मीडिया टिटिलेशन के लिए क्रिएट हो रहा है और ऐसा होगा और फिर से एक बार एक संभ्रांत वर्ग बन गया है जो एजुकेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन और डेडिकेटेड न्यूज में इंटरेस्टेड है सो डू यू अग्री दैट वी हैव जस्ट बिकम मंकीज इन सूट बोर्ड हमारी जो मानसिकता थी वो वही है जहां शायद सौ साल पहले थी कि मासस को मसाला और तमाशा चाहिए था बाकी जानकारी चाहने वाले लोग कम थे मैं इसको थोड़ा सा ग्रेसफुली रखना चाहूंगा देखिए अगर हम बाकी सारे मैटर्स में देश में डेमोक्रेसी चाहते हैं और ये चाहते हैं कि एक मतलब तो इसको माइंड ना करे बट कि एक ऐसा इंसान जिसको शायद घर का राशन लेने की भी समझ ना हो वो भी एक वोट रखे मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट और प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनाने के लिए वो व्यक्ति जिसको इंटरनेशनल मैटर्स का देश कहाँ है हम कहाँ लेके जाना है क्या करना है उसकी वैल्यू भी सिर्फ एक वोट है अगर हम इस लेवल की डेमोक्रेसी चाहते हैं कि कोई हंड्रेड लेवल पे है आई के वो भी That will be counted as one head, one person, one vote, and a person who, due to some reason, maybe whatever that was, but he was he is not that capable of holding a very right opinion. वो he can be influenced by one slogan, one नारा. अगर किसी ने कहा कि अच्छे दिन आएंगे और उसकी वजह से वो वोट दबा देता है. कोई उसको हजार रुपए दे के चला गया या किसी ने कहा कि तुम्हारी कास्ट का है, तुम्हारे रिलिजन का है और इस वजह से वो वोट दबा देता है. तो तो अगर हम वैसी डेमोक्रेसी चाहते हैं तो दैट रिफ्लेक्ट इन टू मीडिया आल्सो मैं उसको उसी ग्रेसफुल वे में रखना चाहूंगा मैं उस आपसे ज्यादा हर्ट हूँ उस बात से जो आप जो आपका कंसर्न है बिकॉज आई एम आल्सो ऑफ द ओपिनियन कि ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए मीडिया को वैसा इन्फ्लुएंस नहीं फील करना चाहिए मासिस का और अपने बेसिक्स पर रहना चाहिए बट इट इज डेमोक्रेसी एंड वी हैव टू गो एज पर आवर कंट्रीज डेमोग्राफी आवर पॉपुलेशन जो वो जैसा चाहते हैं उसको हमें कहीं ना कहीं एक्सेप्ट करना पड़ता है तो मतलब नीचे का वो कथन सही हो जाएगा नथिंग कैन स्टॉप एन आइडिया दैट टाइम हैज कम मैम आई एम जस्ट वाइंडिंग अप थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम आई एम हैप्पी या इट्स इट्स अ गोइंग टू बी एन एवरलास्टिंग डिस्कशन सो वी विल शेयर द मैम मैं एक क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहता हूं सर से जी सर अब जस्ट लेट मी लेट मी वाइंड अप वट एवर द डिस्कशन वॉज गोइंग ऑन लेट मी वाइंड अप दैट डिस्कशन मैडम सुमति हैड आस्क दैट वाई आर वी कैन डी फ्लोसिंग द न्यूज आइटम्स वाइल वी शुड बी क्रिस्प विद हर रिपोर्टिंग सो समेयर वन थिंग ऑल्सो दो आई एम नॉट अ टेक्निकल एक्सपर्ट अर्लियर इट यूज टू बी अ वन आर न्यूज आइटम मोस्टली जब हम छोटे थे तो स्कूल में हमें न्यूज देखने के लिए कम्पेयर किया जाता था इतने बजे न्यूज आएगी उस टाइम पे आप सबको वहाँ अटेंडेंस होगी और न्यूज देखनी पड़ेगी और अभी के हालात ऐसे हैं कि पेरेंट्स भी टीचर्स भी ये कहते हैं कि आप टीवी मत देखो न्यूज मत देखो ठीक है अभी पीछे एक स्कैंडल हुआ जिसमें नीरज बिश्नोई का नाम आया उसके पिताजी कहते हैं कि मेरा बेटा सारा दिन बैठ के जी न्यूज देखता रहता था ठीक है हालात ये हो गए हैं हमें ये नहीं पता चल रहा है कि हम अपने बच्चों को क्या चीज देखने से रोके और क्या चीज उनको दिखाए ये हम समझ नहीं पा रहे कौन सी न्यूज फेक है कौन सी न्यूज सही है क्या आप जर्नलिज्म में इतने आगे तक गए हैं क्या आप हमें या हमारे ऑडियंस को ये बता पाएंगे कि हम कैसे डिसाइड करें कि कौन सी न्यूज हमने किस तरह से लेनी है आ, मतलब हमें उसको फेक माने या ना माने या उसको हम कैसे समझे प्लीज क्रेडिबिलिटी ऑफ मीडिया इज अंडर द क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली पिछले कुछ टाइम से स्पेशली देखिए उसका भी अलग अलग फॉर्म है हम कहते हैं कि सोशल मीडिया में जो लोग हैं वो रिस्पॉन्सिबल नहीं है अकाउंटेबल नहीं है उनकी कोई ऑथेंटिसिटी नहीं है और उनको जो दिखता है वो बिना एडिट किए हम मतलब मैं टेक्निकल वे में बता रहा हूँ कि हम उनके लिए कहते हैं कि वो बिना एडिट किए बिना कोई उसकी 
ऑथेंटिसिटी क्रॉस चेक किए या दूसरा जो उसका परस्पेक्टिव है वो कुछ सोचे बिना उसको लाइव सब दिखा देते हैं और वो कुछ बहुत अच्छी चीज नहीं है ये उनका वो है कि वो गलत कर रहे हैं रिस्पॉन्सिबल नहीं है बट ऑनेस्टली इफ आई से बिग मीडिया हाउसेज जो कि जिनके ऊपर हम बहुत ज्यादा रिलायब भी करते हैं वो भी पार्शल इम पार्शल नहीं होते हैं उनको इफेक्ट करने वाले उनकी पॉलिसी एडिटोरियल पॉलिसी को ड्राइव करने वाले और फैक्टर्स होंगे और वो बहुत ज्यादा सीरियस है वो वो हमें पता भी नहीं चल पाता हम जिसको सबसे अच्छा मीडियम मानेंगे सबसे अच्छा अखबार या टीवी कह लेंगे आपको पता भी नहीं होगा उसके पीछे क्या हो रहा है क्या एजेंडा चल रहा है कौन लोग उसको फाइनेंस कर रहे हैं और क्यों एक डायरेक्शन में या किसी भी एक चीज में चीजें चल रही है ये उन लोगों की बात है जो सौ सौ हजार हजार करोड़ के पब्लिकेशन चलाते हैं वहां पर बड़े लेवल के इन्फ्लुएंसर हैं अलग चीजें उनके एजेंडा है और यहाँ कोई छोटा सा एक माइक लेकर चल रहा है वो अपने अज्ञानता भी हो सकती है टेम्पटेशन भी हो सकती है अलग अलग चीजें गुलाब जो जी कह रहा था गुलाब सिंह जी मुझे बल्कि बाय चांस ना मैं अभी रिसेंटली ही एक बुक मैंने मंगवाई थी और वो मैं मैंने अभी ढूंढी आपके लिए इफ यू कैन सी आई थिंक एक क्रॉस दिखेगा इसके अंदर तो आई डोंट थिंक इफ यू कैन सी द टाइटल इट्स मीडिया मीडिया लिटरेसी तो मैंने अभी लास्ट बुक जो मैंने मंगवाई वो यही थी कीज टू और इसका सब टाइटल भी है कीज टू इंटरप्रेटिंग मीडिया मैसेजेस ये टेक्निकल काम है इतना ऐसा काम है कि और मैं इसको पढ़ रहा था कि एक अखबार में कोई एक फोटो किस एंगल से छपी है क्या हेडलाइन दी गई है कौन सी स्टोरी एक वीक से लगातार चल रही है और जो है वो कौन से वर्ड्स जो है वो कोटेशन में कोर्ट में यूज किए गए हैं उनके पीछे बहुत सारे ऐसी चीजें हैं जो कि प्रोफेशनल लोगों को भी इन्फ्लुएंस करते हैं और आप तो जैसे बच्चों की बात कर रहे हैं मैं ये मानता हूं कि मीडिया इतना बड़ा रोल प्ले कर रहा है इतना हर चीज में उनका इफेक्ट है कि आप पिछले 10-15 सालों से मैं जो देख रहा हूं कि घर में जो लोग सिर्फ टीवी सीरियल्स देखते थे या क्रिकेट मैच देखते थे वो भी आज के टाइम में घूम फिर के किसी ना किसी हिंदी न्यूज चैनल पर चले जाते हैं दिन में एक बार या उनके मोबाइल में कोई ऐप से कोई ना कोई न्यूज आ रही होती है तो इसकी रीच बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गई है अब लोग सिर्फ टीवी न्यूज को इंफॉर्मेशन के लिए नहीं एंटरटेनमेंट के लिए भी देखते हैं जस्ट आउट ऑफ क्यूरियोसिटी भी देखते हैं कि उसके अंदर जो है कुछ मसाला आ रहा होता है ये सब चीजें चल रही होती है तो बच्चों पे जो इफेक्ट है देखिये जब ऑब्वियसली जब दूरदर्शन पे या ऑल इंडिया रेडियो पे ही न्यूज आती थी तो यू कैन बी श्योर की वहां पे उनको कुछ गलत चीजें नहीं देखने को मिलेगी बट अब जो एवोल्यूशन हुआ है टीवी न्यूज का उसमें तो आपको पूरा प्रोसेस दिखाते हैं आधे घंटे में कि कैसे उसने क्राइम को प्लान किया कैसे जाके मर्डर किया कैसे बॉडी को छुपाया कैसे उसके बाद उसने अपना फेक ड्रामा किया क्या किया सब कुछ दिखाते हैं तो ये एक पार्ट ऑफ लर्निंग है अब तो मुझे लगता है कि इससे हम बस तो नहीं पाएंगे बट ये है कि किसी वे में मीडिया लिटरेसी जो मैं आपको दिखा रहा था वो कहीं ना कहीं लोगों को अब उसको एडोप्ट करना पड़ेगा चाहे वो स्कूल कॉलेजेस के लेवल पर हो या फिर जैसा आप प्लेटफॉर्म आज आपने रखा है तो गुलाब जी ने जो प्रश्न किया कि हम कैसे जाने की हमें क्या पढ़ना है या क्या चीज देखनी है इसको केवल मीडिया पर हम लोग नहीं दारोमदार इसका या भार डाल सकते हैं ये कुछ हद हाँ तक टीचर्स जैसा भी है मैं टीचर्स की बात करूंगी क्योंकि यहाँ पे हम लोगों की मेजोरिटी है दीप कमल जी सिर्फ माइनॉरिटी में एक व्यक्ति है बट इट एक्सटेंड्स टू ऑल इंडस्ट्री एज टीचर्स हम इतना अच्छा लिटरेचर पढ़ते हैं जो हम अपने स्टूडेंट्स को समझा सके कि आप ये पढ़िए हमारे अधिकतर सेमिनार्स वर्कशॉप्स एपीआई के मोहताज होके रह जाते हैं शायद दस में से आठ लोग केवल इन्हीं कारणों से करते हैं और उनमें हो सकता है मैं हूं और बाकी सब ना भी हो तो इसको पर्सनली भी लेने की जरूरत नहीं है मीडिया को अगर आप इस तरह देखेंगे आप चाहेंगे कि मीडिया अच्छी ही खबर दिखाए सही दिखाए तो आपको ये समझना होगा कि मीडिया हाउस में जो लोग काम करते हैं बीवी बच्चे उनके भी है एंड दे आर ऑल्सो वर्किंग फॉर अ सैलरी जैसा इन्होंने दीप कमल जी ने अभी कहा कि अगर एक अच्छी सी खबर देते हैं और टीआरपी बिल्कुल शूट डाउन हो जाती है 
तो रोटी तो हमको भी खानी है मीडिया के लोगों को भी खानी है तो हम भी मजबूर हैं कि जनमानस जो देखना चाहता है अगर आप अच्छी बात सुनना ही नहीं चाहते हैं तो एक समय के बाद फ्रस्ट्रेशन आता है मीडिया पर्सन में भी और वो भी सोचता है मुझे क्या मैं भी अपने बच्चों को ही बेहतर पाल लू इट इज वेरी मच प्रेवलेंट अमंग टीचर्स इट इज प्रेवलेंट अमंगस्ट ऑल इंडस्ट्रीज सो वी कॉन्ट रियली मतलब केतली पतीले को काला नहीं कह सकती है जनता खबर बनने में खबर बनाने में खबर कंज्यूम करने में एनालाइज करने में उतनी ही भागीदारी का रखती है जितना पत्रकार वेल थैंक यू मैम सहारन सर वुड यू लाइक टू ऐड समथिंग मैम एक मिनट मैं आई वन क्वेश्चन आस्किंग यू मैम माय सेल्फ आई एम डॉक्टर सुप्रीत गायकवाड़ जाल महाराष्ट्र यस सर बोथ वेलकम मैम मेरा ये क्वेश्चन है कि हर राज्य में असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर नॉन ग्रांड पे पढ़ाते हैं कि जो भी प्रोफेसर हो हिंदी अंग्रेजी साइकोलॉजी लाइब्रेरी साइंस वो प्रोफेसर है उनकी पात्रता है वो पढ़ाते हैं लेकिन गवर्नमेंट का कुछ ऐसा है कि जो कॉलेज नॉन ग्रांड पे है लेकिन उनको कोई वेतन नहीं मिलता पगार नहीं मिलता तो लिटरेसी फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे जर्नलिज्म लिटरेसी ऐसा कुछ कर सकती है क्या इस प्राध्यापक वर्ग को कि जो यूजीसी किसे अंडर कुछ है उसको वेतन श्रेणी दी जाए जो पढ़ा किसी के संसार कुछ फर्स्ट प्रिमरीली नीड्स रहता सब रहता तो मेरा ये कहने का मतलब है कि मीडिया लिटरेसी कुछ इसमें कुछ सहभाग ले सकती है क्या कि ये प्राध्यापक वर्ग के कुछ ना कुछ घरदार चले उसका संसार चले ये मेरा क्वेश्चन है मैं एक जी नमस्कार नमस्कार कैसे हैं आप बिल्कुल एक छोटी सी बात मैंने बहुत ध्यान से आपके लेक्चर को सुन रही थी आज जो वेब सीरीज है आज का जो मीडिया है उसमें मैंने देखा कि बहुत ज्यादा विमेन को फोकस्ड करके मतलब विमेन को बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग एक उसका पक्ष दिखा करके जो है वेब सीरीज या कुछ बनने लगे हैं अदरवाइज पहले मुझे हमेशा ऐसा लगता था कि विमेन इश्यूज को सौसी टंग के साथ दिखाया जाता है है ना कैसे बुराक बुराक ओबामा जी की वाइफ यहाँ पर आती है मिशेल ओबामा तो उन्होंने कैसे कपड़े पहने वो कैसे वॉक करती है कैसे टॉक करती हैं तो दीप कमल जी आपको क्या लगता है कि विमेन को बहुत ज्यादा एम्पार्ट करने के लिए जो हमारा ये इंटरनेट या जो हमारा मीडिया है वेब सीरीज है ये तो हमको स्ट्रांग बना रहे हैं तो क्या प्रिंट मीडिया भी इस डायरेक्शन में कोई और स्ट्रांग कदम उठा रहा है पत्रकार होने के नाते आप इस बात के बारे में ज्यादा जानते होंगे मुझसे देखिए शालिनी जी अगेन वही बात आती है कि ऑडियंस क्या है आपकी रीडर्स क्या है व्यूअर्स क्या है अगर हम आज से 20-30 साल पहले देखें कि जो टीवी सीरियल्स आते थे हमारे पास या मूवीज आती थी उसमें हीरो ही होता था और हीरोइन का रोल जो है वो हीरोइन के लेवल तक ही रहता था बट सारी जिम्मेदारियां सारा जो एक्शन है सारा जो पावर है वो हीरो के पास ही दिखती थी और अब वो चेंज हो रहा है वो उसका एक रीजन ये भी है कि जो लोग इंडस्ट्री में काम करते हैं जो आप प्रोड्यूस करते हैं डायरेक्ट करते हैं उसमें लेडीज आ रही हैं और उससे भी बड़ा पार्ट ये है कि जो व्यूअर्स हैं जो तो लोग वेब सीरीज देखते हैं या सब्सक्राइब करते हैं नेटफ्लिक्स को एमेजोन को हॉटस्टार को उसमें एक बड़ा पार्ट जो है वो लेडीज का है अब उनको चाहे आप कहिए कि उनको खुश करने के लिए या उनकी जो रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं जो जो डिजायर्स हैं जो लाइकिंग्स हैं उसको एड्रेस करने के लिए जो कंटेंट है वो उस वे में चेंज हो रहा है एक टाइम बीच में ऐसा भी था कि बहुत ही नेगेटिव वे में जो है वो वीमेन को किस उस तरीके से भी प्रेजेंट हुआ वो एक रिवोल्यूशन का पार्ट था कि जब आपके हाथ में मोबाइल आ रहा है इंटरनेट आ रहा है और जो फर्स्ट कंज्यूमर है वो मेल्स थे मैन थे उनकी जो टेम्पटेशन थी जो जैसी डिजायर थी चीजें देखने की वैसा कंटेंट आज से पंद्रह दस पंद्रह साल पहले बहुत सारा आया और उस मुझे बड़ी हैरानी हुई कि वैसा कंटेंट प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए हीरोइंस ने भी उसी टाइप के मेन स्ट्रीम मीडिया में रोल किए जिसमें एंटरटेनमेंट 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 की बात हुई तो वो और उसके बाद हम मैक्रो तो ऑब्जर्व करते हैं जैसे कि बहुत चाहे वो आप मतलब ये दंगल मूवी वगैरह जो आई थी उसके बाद से अभी पीछे की एक साइना नेहवाल पे जो मूवी आई बाकी सब कैरेक्टर्स पे आई मैरीकॉम पे आई तो ये जो चीजें हैं इसमें उन इंडस्ट्री के लोगों का भी बड़ा रोल है चाहे वो हीरोइंस की चॉइस हो चाहे वो डायरेक्टर प्रोड्यूसर्स की चॉइस हो समाज का भी रोल है इक्वली रोल है व्यूअर्स का ऑडियंस का अब उस ऑडियंस में आप कहीं अच्छे शहरों में जाएंगे जब भी हम देखते हैं तो जब हम थिएटर में देखते हैं कि वहां पर 400 लोग हैं तो उसमें से 
डेढ़ सौ दो सौ लेडीज होते हैं तो उसके हिसाब से कंटेंट बने और जब हमारे हाथ में मोबाइल हो चॉइस हो तब और ज्यादा ये प्रपोर्शन बढ़ जाता है कि जिन लेडीज के पास टाइम होता है या और कोई मीडियम नहीं होता है बाहर जाने का बाहर चौपाल में बैठ के या पार्क में बैठ के एंटरटेनमेंट लेने का वो उस मीडियम पर ज्यादा चली जाती है जिसमें मोबाइल मीडियम आता है तो वहां पर भी कंटेंट उस हिसाब से चेंज हो रहा है जैसे आप टीवी न्यूज की आप कह रहे हो कि उसके अंदर थोड़ा सा फैंसी वे में ही विमेन लीडर्स को बाकी चीजों को प्रेजेंट किया जाता है डेफिनेटली ये फर्क है और स्पेशली हिंदी मीडिया जो है उसमें ये दिक्कत है इंग्लिश चैनल्स पर आपको ये नहीं मिलेगी और इसका भी अगर आप थोड़ा एनालाइज करेंगे इंग्लिश चैनल्स पर रिपोर्टर्स और एंकर्स मोर देन फिफ्टी जो है वो गर्ल्स हैं लेडीज हैं इस वजह से वहां पर वहां का वर्क एनवायरमेंट भी चेंज होता है और उनकी ऑडियंस भी उस वे में मैच्योरली देखना चाहती है जो इंग्लिश चैनल्स को देखती है इस वजह से वहां पे कंटेंट भी वैसा नहीं आता तो नट शेयर में मैं मैं यही कहूंगा कि जो टीवी मीडिया है या जर्नलिज्म है सच है वो बहुत ज्यादा कंज्यूमर ड्रिवन है जैसा हमारा कंज्यूमर होगा वैसा ही हमारा जो कंटेंट है वो शेप लेता चला जाता है देखिए वो तो बहुत अच्छा है मीडिया मतलब बहुत पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन में इस समय काम कर रहा है लेकिन मैं कभी कभी ये सोचती हूँ कि अभी भी ये जो एडवर्टाइजमेंट वाला जो सिस्टम है इसमें जो मतलब पुरुष के प्रयोग की चीज के साथ भी विमेन को दिखाना किसी वस्तु की तरह हालांकि वो कभी वस्तु थी नहीं लेकिन उसको वस्तु की तरह दिखाना शेविंग क्रीम के विज्ञापन में दिखाना या बाइक के विज्ञापन में दिखाना इसके लिए कभी हमारे जो पुरुष भाई है हमारे बेटे हैं हमारे जो पत्रकार साथी है कभी कोई विरोध करते हैं आप लोग इसके लिए अगेन वही कंज्यूमर की बात है मैं तो हम उस बहुत लंबे डिस्कशन में तो नहीं जा सकते बट एक पार्ट उसका ये भी है कि उसमें मॉडल या उसमें जो जॉब पाने वाले जो काम पाने वाले हैं वो तो बहुत सारी लेडीज ही होती है और वो बाय चॉइस चूज करते हैं कि उनको उस वे में प्रेजेंट करना है ये उनको पहले से पता होता है स्टिल दे अग्री टू इट और ये आज से नहीं हो रहा ये तो हमेशा से डेकेट से हम देख रहे हैं कि पहले से भी लक्स की ऐड होगी या सनसिल्क की ऐड होगी तो इजीली एक्सेप्ट करती है कोई भी जो फीमेल मॉडल है एक्ट्रेस है कि वो उसको उस वे में प्रेजेंट किया जाए कि लेडीज मतलब सुंदरता ब्यूटी प्रोडक्ट्स कॉस्मेटिक्स इन चीजों में वो आप वो धीरे धीरे फिगर बनी है तो अब मुझे जो लग रहा है जैसे आपने क्वेश्चन की शुरुआत में कही थी कि अब उनको सॉलिड वे में भी प्रेजेंट किया जा रहा है रिस्पॉन्सिबल वे में भी प्रेजेंट किया जा रहा है तो ये सारा सबके हाथ में है कंज्यूमर्स इंस्पिरेशनल वर्ड okay okay uh, we are really uh, privileged we feel lucky enough to have uh, sdm sahab with us and saharan ji thank you so much it was such a brainstorming session of course the discussion followed uh, that shows uh, how much you have uh, touched the brains and the hearts of everyone thank you so much for your precious time and for your informative lecture and uh, since uh, sumit sir has informed us that as as dm sahab uh, mr so uh, sonu is with us so i would request as dm sahab without delaying any much uh, to kindly join us and uh, address the audience with his kind words uh, namaskar deepa ji namaskar madam namaskar sir participants ko mera namaskar uh, pehle main apna parichay dena chahunga मेरा नाम सोनू राम है मैं हरियाणा प्रशासनिक सेवा में 2016 में चयनित हुआ था और मैं एसडीएम रह चुका हूं इंद्री में भी सन 2017 में तो अभी मैं फिलहाल पेवा में कुरुक्षेत्र के पेवा में एसडीएम का पदभार संभाल रहा हूं पिछले दो साल से और इस सेवा में अन्य पदों पर जॉइंट कमिश्नर और जीएम रोडवेज सिटी मजिस्ट्रेट इन सब पोस्ट पर भी काम कर चुका हूँ तो मेरे से मेरी जर्नी और जो है अब एक्सपीरियंसेस शेयर करने के बारे में जो था इसलिए मैंने ज्वाइन किया था अब तो इस मैं सोच रहा था कि इंटरेक्टिव एक 
कार्यक्रम होगा जिसमें सबसे बातचीत हो चुके हो सकेगी क्योंकि वक्ता जो है अपना वक्तव्य श्रोताओं पर डिपेंड करता है अब मैं देख रहा था कि ज्यादातर यहाँ फैकल्टी मेंबर्स जुड़े हुए हैं तो फिर भी मैं अपनी बात एक बार मैं चाहूंगा यहाँ से प्रोफेसर साहब या कोई मुझे बताएं कि किस तरह के हमारे साथ श्रोतागण जुड़े हुए हैं ताकि मैं आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू सर दैट इट इज अव डे इंटरनेशनल वर्कशॉप uh the workshop is entitled zero to infinity and the students are joined with us through the youtube channel and various faculty members from the different regions of india are joined with us uh, through this google meet platform and uh, in fact uh, the session was running very late that's why i was trying to rush things up but of course you you can have all the time with you you want to have and uh, the faculty members can interact with you because they are on google meet platform students can't interact because they are on youtube channel ji and uh, we are really privileged to have such a good administrator with us and your experience uh, we really look forward to get enriched by थैंक यू तो मैं ज्यादा मतलब सिर्फ डोमेन अपने डोमेन की बात करता हूं तो मैं शुरू से लेके कंसाइज ब्रीफ करने की कोशिश करूंगा सिविल सर्विस के बारे में जो मेरी जर्नी रही है जो मेरा एक्सपीरियंस रहा है और अब जो बच्चों को मैं या मतलब स्टूडेंट्स को और जो आगे एक्सपीरियंट्स बनेंगे इनमें से उनके लिए जो मैं एक सलाह है वो कंसाइंस करने की कोशिश करूंगा तो सिविल सर्विसेज के बारे में पहले ज्यादातर रुझान जो है अन्य प्रदेशों से रहा है यूपी बिहार से लेकिन अब जो है हरियाणा और हरियाणा से अब काफी रुझान आ गया है इस चीज में पहले कहा जाता था कि सिर्फ एक्सक्यूज मी कहा जाता था कि सिर्फ सिर्फ दूसरे स्टेट्स के जो लोग हैं यूपी और बिहार खासकर वो ही बाजी माप लेता था इसमें सिविल सर्विसेज में और हरियाणा वाले ज्यादातर इसमें नहीं सोचते थे करने के लिए अब हरियाणा काफी कंट्रीब्यूशन रहता है इसमें पिछले दस साल में सिनेरियो काफी चेंज भी हुआ है पहले गाइडेंस नहीं होती थी जब मैंने तैयारी करी है मेरा तैयारी का पीरियड सन 2013 से 2016 रहा था इस दौरान में दो बार मैंने मेंस लिखा था और मैं लास्ट में चयनित भी हुआ था इंडियन रेलवे सर्विसेज ऑडिट एंड अकाउंट सर्विसेज में 2016 में चयनित हुआ था सेंट्रल जो हमारा इम्प्लॉज प्रोविडेंट फंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है उसमें मेरा सिलेक्शन हुआ था क्लास वन पोस्ट पे वो भी यूपीएससी कंडक्ट करता है और इसी तरह से पांच नए नौकरियों में लेकिन मैंने हरियाणा जो प्रशासनिक सेवा है उसको चयनित किया दो तरह की प्रशासनिक सेवाएं होती हैं एक स्टेट की और दूसरी सेंट्रल की सेंट्रल की जो होती है इंडियन इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विसेज बोलते हैं उनको और ये हमारे स्टेट की प्रीमियर सर्विस है मैं अभी इसका पार्ट हूँ तो 2013 से 16 तक जब मैंने शुरुआत की तैयारी की तब मुझे बताने वाला यहाँ कोई नहीं था मैं शुरुआत में जवाहर नवोदय विद्यालय में पढ़ा हूँ और उसके बाद मैं कुरुक्षेत्र यूनिवर्सिटी से मैंने ग्रेजुएशन करा था मेडिकल स्ट्रीम में Mm-hmm. में भी था पीजीआई रोहतक में मैंने जॉइन किया था तब 